Hello everyone, today I'm going to show you how we can put an Azure Function app under API management. In the previous videos, we already created an API management uh, resource. We already added an app, service, uh, an app service under API management, actually it was an API, in a Logic app. And in this video, we can, I'm going to show you how you can also add an Azure Functions app. We're going to go to the portal.azure. I already opened, uh, I'm going to open it again, my resource group I was using previously. I have one uh, Azure function app. It's called uh, Create Rental Availability Checker. I have one function. It's a very simple function. It doesn't do anything in the back end. It just uh, returns the text like, uh, what was the text? Um, I think it was the text was like, uh, no new cars available or something like that. We found to show it. Yeah, nothing available. We can test and run it to see how it works. You give an ID. And then uh, it's a get method, so no body. So I don't know why the, it's uh, generating the body, but yeah. As you see, it's connecting. Connected, and you have 200 response. Well, that's nice. Uh, next thing we need to do is to add this under our API uh, management. I think we have an option straight from here. So I'm going to try it out. And next, we click on car rental can we go no I gonna we gonna put under car rental maybe maybe we can do under car rental let's try to load it select service is getting ready well did it work because I already also tried it in the in the previous uh, example mm. oh yeah it's, import it does take a little bit while because also in a previous uh, tutorial I also tried to do it uh, when I was uh, creating the app service and I also had some issues with it so that's that uh, this post method is not correct because we don't have any post methods so we can delete it but we do have an uh, HTTP trigger. Maybe the name is not very uh, handy, called just HTTP trigger. You can rename it, but uh, as you can see, as you can see in the back end, it's calling our uh, Azure Function app, the car rental availability checker. But that's good. Uh, we're gonna test it from now. Gonna do a send. And as you can see, we have a 200 response back and with the message, nothing available. Not very uh, handy, but just for demo purposes, I thought keep it simple and uh, neat. Well, thank you for watching. Please like, share, subscribe, and watch my upcoming videos about more stuff, fun things we can do with API management. Well, thank you for watching.